Hi, Dave Frankie of Solarbotics. We do an awful lot of work with our Epilog EXT lasers. One of the things that we like to do with all of our equipment is to see what we can do to make them better. After all, we are a hacker company. We like to hack things. Today, I want to show you about one of the discoveries we've made with using the compressed air assist on these uh, lasers and how to make them better. Regular EXT lasers come with this nice little air assist nozzle which brings compressed air from a nice coiled tube from inside this carrier and brings it down right in front of the workpiece. Now the idea is that it's using compressed air to blow the dirt, debris and smoke away from the lens. Now we actually have done enough cuts, uh, some major cuts on a very large piece where we've had to stop the cut mid-process to re-clean the uh, lens and the mirror just because the debris coming up wasn't sufficiently being removed by a simple nozzle. Because this is just a pinpoint amount of air coming down to a point and it actually sprays it everywhere instead of actually directing it away from the workpiece. Coming only in from one direction, not a great plan. One of our first enhancements to try doing was taking a brass tube and drilling some micro holes on it so as the air came out it would actually inject clean air towards the lens while also putting air down towards the, the workpiece. This proved not to be very satisfactory at all. So we obviously had to take it to the next step and actually make something bigger and better. So this is our next attempt at actually creating a better cutting nozzle for our EXT laser. This is constructed mainly out of sheet brass. We've uh, adapted the air intake fitting with a little bit of neoprene tubing, added some ultra high molecular weight plastic for a nozzle tip. And this gives us the uh, double advantage that when we mount this onto the uh, lens assembly, we're totally sealing in where the lens actually sits. So we don't have to worry about uh, debris getting onto the bottom of the lens, which has been an issue with cut quality. That's, that's where most of the problems end up coming from. Okay, let's do an air assist swap. First thing we do, remove the lens carrier assembly. Let's first start by removing the old air nozzle. Now the new air nozzle sits entirely over the lens face which gives us the ability to really keep it protected and that really removes a lot of the problems we've been having with this side of the lens getting contaminated. Fortunately Epilogue has left a couple of holes in the frame. We're not too entirely sure why but they're threaded and ideal for this application. All right, we've re-secured the new nozzle back into place. All I've got to do now is finish locking down the, the air inlet nozzle hose. There. Now our new nozzle is ready to go.